And not not yet. I mean, it depends what they, the owners think they're seeing from Stephen Gerrard behind the scenes, whether Stephen Gerrard is still in control of his of the direction of travel that the team are going in, despite a bad run of form. Um, I thought he was a combination of sanguine and concerned, which is not really the ideal mix, you know, in terms of he wasn't, you know, I, I'm I'm in charge of this until someone tells me something different. Why are you even wanting to entertain that dialogue? Bottom line is, is they're going to, unless, unless the world's upside down this weekend, they're going to get a, a, a doing from Man City, and it's there after that when they've got Southampton and Leicester and Leeds United that we will see the immediate future of Steven Gerrard determined, I think. I think that's when we'll start to see what the landscape looks like. They've had a dreadful start. They've not been very good. I've made sweeping observations about whether I believe the coaching is good enough, and that might be harsh, but notwithstanding that, the team isn't performing, so it's part and parcel of the mix. You expect them to get beaten by an Arsenal side that's in decent form. You'd expect them to get their head handed them to by Man City, but football's a strange world. But what you would expect is a reset against Southampton and Leicester and Leeds United. If that doesn't come, if that doesn't come, then the questions, the rumblings, will start to start becoming a roar, I suspect. I mean, with Stephen at the helm, I'll ask you straight, you, you must have expected better than three wins in 16. Well, if you remember, I had reservations about the choice that he made to come to Aston Villa and felt it was jeopardy-led. I, I warmed to him because I get the message that other people tried to impart to me, which was, you know, you've seen this kid from afar, this fella from afar. Wait till he gets into the Premier League, you'll see the gravitas and the stature of the fella. And I did see that, and I spoke to you about it, saying, OK, I get the dynamic. But there's a, And I then questioned, will he have the tactical wherewithal to be able to overcome the inevitable bumps in the road that he's going to have? And at this moment in time, the answer to that question appears to be no, but we mustn't micromanage it. He, he, he's he got five games in. They've got a dreadful start. But if he's in control of his own destiny, there's, there's rumours going around about the marginalisation of Tyrone Mings and the players resisting it and how that man management side of things. Because you would expect Stephen Gerrard to have an understanding of man management. Yeah. Because he's been man managed himself. Of course. He's been managed, he's been managed by managers that have either managed him well or not managed him well. There was rumours about his relationship with Brendan Rodgers not going particularly well. But other people that he has played for will have talked about something very different. He is in tricky times. Yes. But I don't think that Aston Villa will be pulling the trigger until we've got past these four or five games. If they if they don't get points out of these games, yeah. then he really will be looking over his shoulder. So if you're Sawiris or Edens, the two men at the top of the football club, the two very wealthy men, at yeah. the top, very ambitious men at the top of the football club, do you stick or twist in this transfer well, I, window I, I, with hours to I, go? I, I was surprised at the decision that was made to appoint Stephen Gerrard. Not surprised at the decision to appoint, to take Dean Smith out, but I was surprised with Gerrard. And the link for that is Christian Perslow. So the link that needs to build the gap, I don't think the owners will be down the training ground looking into the whites of Stephen Gerrard's eyes. I think Christian Perslow has that job. It's on Christian Perslow. Christian Perslow made this appointment. He was the, the cat that got the cream when he came in and told us all about how Gerrard was his acquisition. Well, it's on you now. And he's the one that's got to see the whites of Gerrard's eyes. And if the only thing that's holding Gerrard up is his suit... Then he will be taken out. Right. I and mean, in terms and of spending on, today, do you think they make a big one today with well, what's going on in the background? Well, they they haven't made big noises, have they? And no. there was a, there was a hullabaloo no. about Coutinho coming in, and that has flattered to deceive. But so is the team. I hope Gerard does well. I fear that he will not, and that ultimately there'll be a whittling down of the of the Stephen Gerard currency, and this this dynamic that all roads lead to Anfield is going to have a a dog leg on yes. it. Yes. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.